Well, it's day 10 and the sky's disappearance. It's uh, November 15th, and we've now received over 1,100 tips uh, that have come in. We want to thank everyone for that. As I mentioned yesterday, we want people to remember to not assume that the information they have is irrelevant or not important. We would like to collect all of the information and then sort through those tips with our investigative team to, to prioritize them and weed them out. The question is, what happened this morning? It looks like we went to the Belltown area of Seattle looking for Julia and then turned around and came back home. Do we know where Julia is? The answer to that is, I, I heard this as well, that an arrest was imminent and we're looking for Julia. None of that is true. Nothing has changed from yesterday to today in regard to Julia's status as a suspect person of interest or any of those things. She is the mother of Skye as we stand here and talk today. I've read and watched the reports about the dating site myself. And I can tell you that, as I mentioned before, we are using all traditional investigative means to put the pieces of this case together. So I have to be very sensitive as we move forward about uh, jeopardizing our investigation. So some of those questions I cannot answer directly. Has the investigation switched from a missing person investigation to a criminal investigation? And I would say no. Uh, I've talked several times about the, this notion of sort of all theories being relevant. And we have still yet to be able to cross out any viable options. Any, uh, any and all options of, that relate to Sky's disappearance are still on the table.